Well, she's the only athlete in this field who's been underneath the 11 second barrier this season. Indeed, the only athlete in the field who's been lower than that mark. She's got a personal best set back in 2009 of 10.75 seconds, winner of multiple US collegiate titles. And there's Samoy Hackett of Trinidad and Tobago. She's got a best run this season of 11.17. The Central American and Caribbean champion for this season. And there's a close-up for you of the favourites for this second heat. World and Olympic silver medals and a consistent performer around the Grand Prix circuit. She was third, second in Rome, third in Eugene, and third in Paris. Monaco, she came in fifth, third in Stockholm. She'll be there or thereabouts when it comes to the final tomorrow night. For well, the rest of the lineup, Fobe Kutu Akoy of Liberia goes in lane one. In lane two, Semoy Hackett of uh, Trinidad and Tobago. Joanne Priscilla Lutoy of the Seychelles goes in three. Karen Stewart of Jamaica in four. Ruddy Zhang Milama of Gabon. She's got a best of 11.09. She might be challenging for second. She's in lane five. In lane six, Ivana Rojman of Macedonia, the former Yugoslav Republic. Lane seven, Azin Okparebo of Norway. And in lane eight, Andrea Ongrazionu of Romania. So, glad the introductions are over. Away they go, and a good start from Stewart, who's already putting distance between herself and the rest. Hackett trying to go with her, and also Zhang Milama of Gabon has run bravely, but Stewart winning comfortably. She takes it ahead of Zhang Milama of Gabon, close for third and fourth, but Stewart winning it in 11.12. She had a following wind of 1.4 metres per second. If that stays the same, we're going to get some very, very fast times tonight. I think we are. The wind, as we've seen only on this second day here, but in a lot of the races it has been swirling. As some of the athletes are already saying it is a quick track. The only Mondo track, the only competition Mondo track in South Korea, and it is a quick one. And Keron Stewart, well, such is the battle for the American and the Jamaican athletes to make teams for World and Olympic Games. She was second, of course, in the Jamaican trials over 100 and 200 metres behind Veronica Campbell-Brown. We will see shortly. She's in the seventh heat here this morning. But she looks in control. And the first three who qualify, Karen Stewart, 11.13. Ruddy Zhang Milama of Gabon, 11.2. And then the Nigerian-born Norwegian, Azine Okparebo, 11.21 in third place. A national record for her. So she's come here and set a little bit of Norwegian history. Karen Stewart, though, is running very easily there. Well, as you and Thomas were saying earlier in the men's 400 metres, it's all about the lane draws. This is a wonderful slow-mo. Well, the right knee does fall in. The key, of course, is to try and keep the legs as straight as possible. But the Jamaican is such a good starter. For my money, you know what, John? I don't really think she's doing much at all there, is she? Based at Oban in the United States, represented Oban University as she won many a collegiate title and she's going to be a medal contender well we can bring you a full classified result of that heat and there it is Stuart goes through along with Zhang Milama of Gabon and Okparebo of Norway the rest of them have to wait and see if they can make it through as one of the three fastest losers for tomorrow's semi-finals and the final as well in the same session is tonight tomorrow night and it's wonderful to see